What is going on guys? Dizzy here and here and we're back playing some life in the woods. Alright, so I'm just quickly going to go check our farm, see what we got, and don't tell anybody. Well you guys know the routine. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, so I got really good response from the last video. You guys are freaking amazing. Um, and I got a lot of new viewers, subscriptions, comments, all that good stuff. So I just want to let you guys know a couple things. Um, even though I enjoy Minecraft, playing it, uh, every time you guys leave me comments and all that fun stuff, um, that makes it a whole lot more fun to make videos. So, um, even though like sometimes I'll get on here and I'll, I'll be like, oh yeah, you know, I should probably record and uh, I don't know. I just like coming out here and, and playing, you know, you know, um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly thank all of you guys, uh, especially those that, um, go on here and watch my videos all the time and leave me comments and stuff. You guys are awesome. Um, so yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that real quick that all of your comments are always taken into consideration. I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything, so um, I always read all of you guys' comments and if I can get back to you guys, I usually do, and you guys know that. So, um, yeah, just wanna let you guys know that before we did anything, because there, there's a little something that, that popped up while you guys weren't here. See that, see that right there? Yeah, let's go check that out. Um, because you guys know, every time I go, um, harvest all this stuff up. See, look at this. this. This stuff is all ready to go. And where do I put it? I put it in these damn chests, right? And then from that chest, it goes inside. Oh, oh, oh. You guys can see that. You guys can see that. It goes inside there. So I figured we need an area. Like we need a real area. A real area to work out of. So check that out. Take it in. Take it in. This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be our new little, um, I don't know what you would call it. I guess it would be a restaurant? A restaurant, yeah. This design was actually uh, inspired by Jarecraft, so I'll put his channel down in the comment or in the description down below. Um, I just added my own little touches to it with the carpenter's blocks and whatnot. So yeah, it has a little basement. Um, it's not fully furnished yet. Uh, it's still like a little work in progress, so show you guys the basement real quick so just a real clean basement nothing too fancy um we got those little trap doors so it's a little security because you know we can't be letting no wild animals come into our base and then i added some bushes um made that lamp i don't think i've ever seen anybody make that lamp before uh just a bunch of trap doors with um some stone on the bottom so i thought that was pretty cool um and then a little f uh what's that called flower pot flower i don't know whatever that thing's called so we come in, and then, yeah, here's going to be the little area where we have a little uh, fireplace. See, we got a little fireplace going on. The way I did that is just this torch, because I figured we're never going to be able to see in there, so I might as well just add a torch. That works. Um, and yeah, so it's two stories, so first story and then second story is right here. Um, I might switch this up and just add stairs, just so we can go up the stairs real quick. But for right now, it's just second little story up here. And you can look out, uh, we got little bars on there, iron bars, you know, nobody breaks in. And then out here, it's just a little patio, you can come out here and chill. You can see out there, check out the roof, and then look out into the forest, where we need to find more bees, because you can never have too many bees, right? Alright, so let me uh, go on down. So I hope you guys like this. Um, I, I can do some more builds, like on camera if you guys want because I know I've been asked a couple times to do some builds with you guys on camera but like this is a lot of detail like a lot of detail work and I don't know if you guys really want to stick around and watch me build all that stuff if I get enough people on this video saying hey we want to see you build then <laughs> all right I'll give you guys what you guys want and I will build 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 for you guys so that that's out on the table now so it's up to you guys to make it happen so if you guys see somebody say hey yeah do a build go and like their comment so that way i can see or just leave your own comment saying that you guys want to see me build some stuff 
Um, but what I want to do, because um, if you guys watch one of my episodes, I asked for a name for this guy, right? Dexter? And Dexter's actually kind of lonely, because we never actually took Dexter for a ride. Oh, we never even tamed Dexter. We just na labeled his ass, so... Let's go grab some some food to feed him. Now, what do horses like? Sugar, right? Uh, do we have sugar? Can we throw eggs at him? Probably throw eggs at him. Uh, sugar. Okay, so sugar. They like sugar, I think. Wait, no. Sugar or apples? Fuck, I don't remember. Alright, either one. Either one. Oh, you like that? You li Here, how about... You let me oh, put that away before I hurt him. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Alright, we are gonna tame Daxter. Daxter? You wanna go for a ride? You better behave. Behave, Daxter. You want more sugar? I'll give you more sugar, buddy. Oh, you liked it. Alright, let me just hop on your back. Okay, come on. Come on, Dexter. You know you want to saddle on your back. You want to saddle on your back? Put a saddle on your back. I got a brand new one. I pulled it out of the water. Oh, he didn't like the water saddle. Are you sure you... Okay, what if I buy you a new saddle? Huh? Will you, will you like me then if I buy you a new saddle? Huh? New saddle for you? Come on, Dexter. Alright, I think I think he's gonna, he's gonna let us ride him. Are you gonna let us ride you? Oh, you tricked us. So you had us going for a second. Alright, so let's try this one more time. Come on. Come on, you know you want to go for a ride. We'll take you for a quick spin around the block. Oh, he wants to go for a spin around the block. Alright. So, that's awesome. Alright, cool. So now, we're going to put a saddle on him. Get on. Oh. See, and nobody ever helped me out with the how to get these guys out of here. So we might have to redo our whole little... Um, what are those called? The stables. We might have to redo our stables. Alright, so... Whoa, whoa, I, what is wrong with you, buddy? What is wrong with you? Are you stuck somewhere? Are you glitched? Oh, Dexter is a bad horse. Dexter does not listen to anything. Dude, what is wrong with you? Okay. Um, he's being very weird. Is he tied up? Are you tied up, bud? No, you're not tied up. So why can you not? He's like rubber banding into the thing. Watch. I'll pull back and he wants to go forward. Okay, that's a new one if I ever saw that. Um, okay, let's figure this out. Because apparently he is tied up. Oh, he is. Somehow he is tied up. Right? And he it won't let go. Let go. Give me that. I think that's glitched out. Alright, let's try this now. Oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. Alright. So I'm just going to take you guys for a quick tour. Talk to you guys a little bit. And then we might go do a little bit more exploring. Because if you guys know... Well, you guys probably already know. Last episode... Well, last two episodes, we went exploring out to the village, which was very uneventful. And then we went to explore the desert temple, right? Well, I didn't tell you guys about these two things down here. There's a mushroom forest. Well, you guys know about the mushroom forest, but uh, there's also a bamboo forest. And I want to get some bamboo and at the same time see this stuff. I didn't see that. So I don't even know what this stuff is. But it's going to be kind of tricky to get back down there. Um... Especially with Daxter, since we've never really played with Daxter, so... Um, we'll just start heading that way, see how far we get, and then, um, yeah. Okay, so you guys know that pretty much whatever you guys decide, like, Hey, Dizzy, you should probably do this, or Dizzy, you should probably uh, check this out. If you guys give me little tips and stuff, um, I'm always going to listen to you guys, and I'm always going to try to do my best to accommodate, I guess you could say. Um, and somebody in the comments, um, I don't remember who it was, but they mentioned that I should try getting amethyst armor and tools and stuff, and that seems like a pretty legit idea, uh, because we've been playing this for a while, and we don't have any really, really cool stuff. I mean, come on, we have, what, hardened leather armor? Well, it's enchanted, so that has to mean something, right? Um, but yeah, so we need some kind of cool armor, and apparently that is like the coolest armor. So if you guys don't know, um, 
amethyst. Am -ma is it amethyst? Not coral. It might be amethyst. Or it might not even be in here. I don't know. Oh, right here. So it's amethyst. There we go. Okay, so this stuff. Um, all of these things are made from this stuff, which is only found in the promised lands. So, f is it really getting dark already? No way. All right, so we might have to go back home because I don't think I have any, do I have torches on me in a bed? Uh, of course I do, right? Of course we do. I said, of course we do. Yeah, bed and torches. All right, so um, should we do, oh, we're stuck now. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> we are stuck now. Uh, we need a donkey, that's what we need. All right, so let's just uh, plop one torch down here, put our bed down there, and let's see if we can sleep before uh, Daxter runs away. Okay, so anyways, what I was saying was, for those of you that don't know, um, Biomes of Plenty has its own little dimension, right? And in this dimension, you, you're basically up in like, the cloud, some skylands looking stuffs, I guess you could say. Um, and inside of these little skylands, there's like islands and all kinds of crazy shenanigans. And on these islands, there's that amethyst stuff. And the amethyst stuff is super cool because it's like extremely, extremely tough stuff. So the armor is really good and the tools are really good. So that's definitely something that we should get. But the only drawback to that, guys, is if we do that, I'm going to have to start doing a lot of caving and adventuring. Um, both things I don't think are too bad because it will give me a lot more time to talk to you guys, which apparently you guys like. So if you guys want to do some caving adventures, we can do some caving adventures. Um, but we're going to need this, right? So this staff thing. And in order to get this ancient staff, you have to make all of these pieces. So we need to go to the end to get some end stone and we need to get we need to collect all of these little pieces. So sapphire, tanzanite, um, peridot, malachite, rubies, topaz, and a nether star. <laughs> Thought I mentioned that one. And a nether star. So that's that's the big issue right there because I honestly I've never fought a wither in vanilla. Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> so I don't know how tough it is to beat a wither in vanilla. Um, and I know this isn't vanilla, but pretty much we don't have like, I guess we could just build all the cool weapons. Um, you guys can tell me which one's like the strongest weapons. Cause right now I only have, which ones do I have? I have the bow and arrow thing. Um, and then I have the blunderbust, right? Blunderbust. And I think that's all we have. Yeah, we have a composite bow, which apparently is good if you have the other arrows, which I don't have. I have like one or two. Um, but yeah. So that's the problem. And look how fast we made it to the freaking <laughs> desert temple. Could have just gone this way. But hey, we did not know, right? We didn't know. So it's all good. And plus we had to go visit the village. So yeah. All right. So you guys can tell me which one is the strongest weapons for beating a wither or the easiest way to beat a wither. How about that? Because as far as I know, um, what is this? Moss? Are you moss? Let's see. 